truffle trees. How do you grow these things? To be honest with you, I don't really know, so turn the video off, right? Now, I don't know because there's simply not much information out there on how you create a tree which is infected with truffle. Now, I'm trying it for myself right here. I'm trying to infect these whole oak trees with black truffle, also known as Tuba melanosporum. Truffles are a mycorrhizal fungi, which means they grow on the roots of a tree and they form a symbiotic relationship. They um, give nutrient to the tree and in turn the tree gives uh, sugars to the truffle. And to find truffle you see people, they use a dog, a trained dog or a trained pig and they go sniff them out of the ground. Now here on my farm I grow uh, oyster mushrooms, they're saprotrophic so they uh, break down a lot of wood, um, carbon, nitrogen and turn that into mushrooms. But I've, I've got some land and I want to plant that land with some truffle trees. So I need to make myself some. I can buy them, but they're fairly expensive. You pay, you know, 40 to $60 per tree. So I'm just giving it a crack at making my own. To do this, I've simply got myself a tuber melanosporum, or a black truffle. I've dried it, ground it up, and I've introduced it to a tray of perlite. That perlite I have um, moistened, and I've put in a whole lot of home oak acorns. I went, and picked up all the, I went and picked all the acorns off a tree and I simply threw them in there and I'm hoping that that truffle spores have uh, germinated, have infected the roots, there's one right there and then I can plant that infected uh, oak tree in my soil here. I have also amended this soil here. This is simply um, potting soil, you can see all the bags for it sitting here. So it was um, premium uh, all-purpose potting mix. And what I've done is got calcium carbonate flour, which is finely ground um, flour, uh, calcium flour or lime flour, and I've uh, mixed it in, and then I've actually sterilized the soil. I've put it all through a run through my sterilizer to um, try and knock out any competing uh, mycorrhizal fungi which might already be in that soil. What the lime flour does is it's actually going to raise the pH of that soil, hopefully to above 7.5. The soil's quite acidic already, now I should have prepared this quite a long time, months and months, months ago, six months ago, to give that um, soil time for the pH to rise, but I've simply been too busy and um, I dropped the ball on that one. And I germinated my seeds before I prepared my soil. But nonetheless, we'll give it a crack anyway. So over the coming months, the, the pH of the soil should raise. Now I mixed it in uh, quite a large amount of the uh, lime flour, and I mixed it in a ratio of about it was about 2.5 kilo of lime flour, probably to about half a tray of bags here. So each one of these has probably got around 200 grams of lime flour in it. And you can actually see, see it throughout the soil if you look really closely. The soil's taken on a, uh, it was a lot darker and it's taken on more of a greyish look. And it's simply through the amount of lime in there. Now tuber melanosporum is known to love real calcic soils, so it loves soils that are high in limestone or high in calcium, and it often grows around where you have a, a calcium or limestone ridge which has come out um, under the ground, it's been pushed up and it's, all the limestone's been shattered, has gone through the soil, and it's made the soil really alkaline. Traditional farming often acidifies the soil, and so we want to avoid those acid soils. To plant these um, wee acorns, all I'm doing I'm going my tray here using the, uh, the potato masher because it's plastic um, and it's a good shape just to make lots of big holes in here. Don't tell the wife I'm using the potato masher. So you make some like that. I just go through here and I grab some of this um, perlite which I've used and I put a bit in the holes just because that does have a bit of truffle um, spores all mixed in with it. We just want to make sure there's some extras in the hole. And then I just reach through here and we just simply pull out, there we are there, there's an acorn which has a root, big tap root coming out of it and the, the top part which is uh, obviously the oak tree and I'm just going to push that into the soil there and once it's in sort of cover it up a little bit and then we get the next one, there's another one right there now the germination rate was considerably high. I haven't actually found, I had a, a few hundred acorns um, in, this, in this tray in here. And I'm yet to find one which hasn't got a big nice taproot growing out of it. 
You can see over the back there, there's actually some which have the, they're about that tall already. So um, they were obviously grew really well. And we're just going to go through and do that with all of these. There are so many in here. You can see I can just sort of be really gently, if I can get my hand in there, I can just pull out. See all these acorns? All of them have big roots growing out of them. And I'm hoping all of them have an infection of black truffle, Perigord black, tuber melanosporum as it's known as. Because why not? I grow mushrooms, so why not try to grow the most expensive mushroom in the world? Tuber melanosporum sells at something like $3,000 a kilo. It's quite, quite expensive. But the risk for setting up a uh, a truffle farm is considerable. People can plant them and simply never produce truffle. The trees will be infected, but for some reason the truffles won't grow. So you can see this is the tray I germinated them in. So actually some falling out. And the germination rate is super high. If I put my hat fingers through, you can just see all of the acorns in there which have sprouted. All of them with their big roots on it. Now this perlite here are actually mixed with the truffle uh, spores and I adhere to some uh, sanitization procedures which I do with mushrooms. So we put them in there and then we had the, uh, uh, it held enough moisture and let air permeate and I'm hoping that when the tap roots for these acorns grow out the, the truffle spawn which has mixed them with us has infected the root um, that one's broken at the tip, so I don't know if I'll plant that one. Um, and so I'm hoping that these are all, yeah, infected with the melanosporum and we get some truffles growing on them. The little bit of perlite in each hole is just to make sure that, that that'll have truffle spawn on it, so, um, truffle spores on it, so just get some in the hole. That one's got, you can see that one's growing, it's wee, the wee tree shoot at the top. Now is this going to work? I honestly don't know, but I'm going to give it a shot and in a, in a number of months time, once these trees have grown uh, to be, I don't know, yay high, I'll actually send, uh, you, you can check the, the, the infection yourself by sacrificing a tree, opening it up and looking at its roots under a microscope and you can see the um, infection on the root tips. And I'll also send a couple of trees away to a lab here in New Zealand and get them to check the uh, check that the, the trees have that uh, that mycorrhizal um, uh, mycorrhizal fungi formed on the uh, on their root tips um, and once that's done if it's successful then we know that this way works for an, uh, the infection of trees with melanosporum or truffle species so the next the follow-up video for this I might do another one to see how they're growing but I'll do a one, I mean it'll be quite a ways away, um, where we will cover off the roots under the microscope to see if it's worked and sending them to the lab and we'll report the results back and if this method works then I don't see why other people can't um, do it. I mean you just get a truffle, dry it, grind it up, grow some acorn seeds, plant them and I mean you, know, you can only do it to a few trees if you want just a few trees out the back of your house and you know you might get a couple of truffles here and there, brilliant right?